Welcome everyone. I have a question for you. Did you know that falls are the leading cause of unintentional injury related deaths? Now, the important thing to know about that is that they are largely preventable. That is why we have Falls Prevention Month to focus on ways to do just that. And one of those ways is actually through improving your health with Tai Chi. Heather Challen is here to explain this more to us. Heather, thank you so much for coming back. Thanks for having me again. Absolutely, and I, we're talking about Falls Prevention Month and someone that really kind of spearheads this here locally and, and focuses on that is the coalition that you're a part of. Can you mm -hmm. kind of tell us what it is that you do? Yes, right, so the Southern Arizona Falls Prevention Coalition is a chapter of the state coalition and we are a group of individuals, of organizations, both public and private, who work together to gather information and disseminate it about falls. How to prevent falls is really the key because falls are not a natural consequence of aging and it's important to take action to help to prevent falls. It's a significant impact on our, our current society. So it's something that we know is making a difference by us all working together and collaborating. So we've got an amazing lineup, really terrific this year, throughout the month of events going on throughout Southern Arizona that will give people access to free resources, screenings, and presentations with experts in the field of false prevention. And I know we have uh, some of this up on the screen right now because you guys really do have so much yeah, going on. Yeah. Um, and much I to list here. Exactly. <laughs> Dates, times, locations, what you could be educated on. Mm -hmm. and, and I know when we were talking about this before, I always say if you're going to come out and get that education, bring the whole family, uh, a Absolutely. great support system of, of preventing and doing things in the home. And I mentioned even yourself being healthy mm -hmm. is a portion of that. We're going to integrate that with Tai Chi. But what mm -hmm. is Tai Chi before we kind of connect those dots? Yeah. So Tai Chi is an ancient art form. It comes from China. In modern times, particularly because of scientific research, it's become much more mainstream and accepted as a health program for mind and body of any age for all generations. And it's also something that it's, it's characterized by gentle movement, paying attention to staying vertical, even if it's done initially in a chair and to paying attention to our breathing because that helps keep us present. But it's also deeply personal, what does Tai Chi mean? For some people, it is the health improvement. For some, it's very efficient exercise combined with meditation. And for others, it's just a wonderful way to have a lifestyle practice where they're getting out, being social, practicing with others. Well, now that we know all of the wonderful benefits that come with it, let's connect that dot with the falls prevention and how that works. Yeah. So the Tai Chi for Health Institute has particularly a program called Tai Chi for Arthritis and Falls Prevention, and it's recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as many health organizations, departments of health throughout our nation and across the globe, actually. And this particular program is really paying attention to how can we make Tai Chi accessible to everybody? How is it inclusive? So we pay a lot of attention in the way the program is delivered to modify where needed, to um, teach the learner's way, to be able to help people leave classes feeling a personal sense of accomplishment and that they've had a socially meaningful experience because we know that also has an impact on how to prevent falls. Um, in, the, in itself, Tai Chi is helping with really learning about weight transfer, staying upright, being aware of one's posture, being more relaxed due to the breathing and the gentle movement. So we become more harmonious within and with the world around us. So overall, what happens is people become stronger. Yeah. They become more confident, more peaceful, enjoying their experience. Bottom line is if they enjoy it, they do it. Exactly. So we really get the health results that we're looking for. So if someone is hearing all of this and they're saying, yes, this, is, this sounds perfect for me, how, does, mm -hmm. how do we become involved or participate? Mm -hmm. So there are classes throughout Southern Arizona. We've got quite a, a community of instructors certified in this program. And so you can find that throughout, um, whether it's on my own mm -hmm. website, which we'll get to at yeah. the end, or through our Falls Prevention Coalition information that'll also come back up again. There is another excellent way to get involved, and that is to train to become a certified oh. instructor and take it out into your own lo local community 
because we know if we teach, we also continue our own practice. That is so true. It's, yeah, it's a wonderful way to be able to be in a positive way involved in the community. Well, I feel like we've talked this up, talked about the benefits, and I actually would love to see a little bit if you can kind of talk sure. us through some of the movements. Yeah, I'd be happy to. So I'm just gonna share what we call the basic six forms. Every class, we're going through simple warm-up movements that get the joints moving, get the smile muscles engaged. And then when we teach these movements, we break it down into small pieces, each form one at a time, and we build in the repetition that people need so that they can really make it their own because the goal is to be able to practice on your own and with friends. So as we build our strength and our stamina, our balance through these movements, and we're paying attention to our breathing, our health improves, we become more aware, and it shows up in our overall activities of daily living. It's wonderful when we get to hear reports from people of how certain instances might in the past have caused them to fall, but instead with the mindfulness and their agility and their strength through their Tai Chi practice that they in fact don't fall. Well, and you mentioned, Heather, just a few moments ago, while you continue, I'm going to let everybody know how they can get uh, involved and participate through some websites, and I'm going to do that right Perfect. now. Thank you so much for showing us and, and letting us know about the benefits. Thanks for having me. This home. has been wonderful for everyone at home. There are several upcoming mini expos where you can see more demonstration and ask some questions. Find out more information online at PCOA.org org or call 520-790-7262. You can also learn more about Heather and Tai Chi at heatherchallen.com.